The U.S. Senate has advanced a bill that would boost semiconductor production right here in the U.S. Now, these are those chips. They're used in computers, cars, really just about everything. The Senate is expected to vote on a final passage soon. And Arizona Senator Mark Kelly is pushing to get that done. This morning, Senator Kelly joining us live to dive into this. Good morning, Senator. Thank you for joining us on Today in AZ. First up, what's the timetable to get this bill cleared? Well, Emily, uh, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, the timetable, in the next few hours, we will get this legislation passed in the Senate, send it over to the, the House. They're expected to pass it very quickly, and then we'll get it over to the President's desk. And this is a really big thing for our country. It's going to bring down costs for everything from cars to um, you know, consumer products, cell phones, anything that has gone up because of a shortage of semiconductors in time, these prices will stabilize and that helps Arizonans. But it's also a really big deal for Arizona because of the thousands of great paying jobs that are going to come to our state. Now, many say it's also really important for national security. Can you share why? What's at risk if these chips are not being produced right here in America? Well, the best semiconductor chips in the world are not made in the United States. They're made at a company called the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company in Taiwan. Uh, and the access to those chips are always at risk. So it's a national security concern. And semiconductor chips or microelectronics go in all of our sophisticated weapon systems. So we need a supply chain that doesn't cross an ocean to get access to semiconductors. That's why I worked with Republicans and Democrats to push this thing across the finish line. It took a year and a half, but we finally got, got here. Now, Arizona does rank high among states for semiconductor exports, fourth according to the Arizona Commerce Authority. Chandler and North Phoenix already have factories that are being developed for these chips. How can this bill specifically benefit people right here in Arizona? Well, so these companies like TSMC and Intel are going to be building new fabrication facilities based on um, the likelihood that we was we were would eventually get this bill passed. TSMC has already started construction. So there are opportunities available right now. Um, and, and in these career fields, it doesn't require a four year degree. I spent some time recently at uh, Maricopa Community College looking at a relatively short program to give Arizonans the basics they need in semiconductor manufacturing in order to get these jobs. So in years to come, Arizona is gonna be the hub for semiconductor manufacturing in the United States because of this bipartisan legislation that I worked on. Now, there are critics, of course, both Democrats and Republicans. Some have called this a blank check. Some have called it extortion, corporate welfare, arguing that this bill gives money to profitable companies. Now, why should taxpayers help to support this, do you think? Hey, this is a, about a choice, right? Do we want these companies to be in Europe, Japan, South Korea, or even China? Or do we want them here in the United States? Uh, and this is not only about bringing down costs. This is also about our national security. You know, our pacing threat, our, our biggest adversary out there is China. They're trying to attract these companies. They're trying to build the best semiconductor chips in the world. They can't yet. We can't uh, put them or allow them to be in a situation where they can be the leader in this technology. It needs to be here in the United States. Hey, we created the semiconductor chip. We created microchips. Uh, and we should, we should get back our leadership in this critical technology. All right. Sounds like you'll be busy over the next day and, and week to come. And we do have one final question for you here, Senator. Arizona voters heading to primary polls next week. It's a crowded Republican field, of course, vying for your Senate seat. What do you think is the most important issue for Arizona voters heading into the election and your message to voters this morning? Well, my biggest mes message is vote. If, you, if you've received your ballot in the mail, fill it out, get it turned in. If you vote in person, Tuesday is election day. It's so important uh, that your voice is heard. Our democracy is so much stronger when more people vote. So I encourage people to get out there and encourage your friends and family to do so as well. All right, Senator Mark Kelly joining us live this morning on Today in AZ. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much.